when the electric action potential reaches the sarcoplasmic reticulum. It causes the opening of voltage-regulated calcium channels. These channels are closed at certain voltages, but then open at others, such as the voltage of the action potential. This causes the release of calcium ions, and thus these calcium ions can bind to troponin, move tropomyosin, and allow the globular heads to begin at to attach and pivot on the active sites of actin molecules. The sarcoplasmic reticulum also possesses active transport pumps, which begin to pump calcium ions back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum after their release in an action potential. This will remove the calcium ions from the sarcoplasm, and without calcium ions, the inhibitory proteins of troponin and tropomyosin will once again cover the active sites of actin. And so thus, the active transport pumps of calcium in the sarcoplasmic reticulum use ATP to pump calcium back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum and thus end a contraction.